In this lesson, we want to talk about another generative tool after subdivision surface is extrude. As I said before, we draw all of this spline. For example, this flubber, and after that, we can using extrude to make it 3D from these splines. As I said before, holding holding Alt and click to assign the extrude in a flower in a correct way. It uh, it become a parent of flower and the axis will be at the same position and you can see it automatically extruded for you. If you click on extrude, we have some tabs, uh, <clears throat> option and the caps. In option, we have a very important thing called diamond, uh, direction. This is a direction of extrude for extruding. For example, it's also it's, com it's automatically detected the direction of the uh, flower. For example, if, if I release it from the extrude and going and rotate it in a direction and then click and drag it, as you can see, automatically uh, find the direction of the spline and extrude it automatically okay if you go into direct uh, direction x direction x axis direction y direction z in this case that is correct and simply you can uh, change the direction in custom <clears throat> if you want you can change the offset you can change the offset even in a positive or negative position. You can type it or click and drag it. You can change the movement in X, Y, or Z dimension. If you go into the absolute, the offset will be turned off and we just have X, Y, and if it's Z, you can change the uh, offset. But the uh, very Interesting mode is custom that you can change it any direction to extrude. Going to auto. <clears throat> As I said uh, before, we have an spline here and we have an important setting that called intermediate point. You can change it to subdivision, for example, to uh, more accurate and better modeling here. Okay, back to extrude. And we have a subdivision. If you increase the subdivision, you can add a subdivision uh, in this direction, to Z direction. And we have isopalm subdivision. The isopalm are the line that create the uh, uh, nerves, care, nerves modeling, nerve models. You can change them. For example, if you want to see isopalm going to the display mode and Instead of wireframe, tick isoparts. Look at this line. These are isoparts. And you can change them. Okay, you can bring it back to the wireframe. And this important uh, option is hierarchical. For example, I have a flower, I add an inside bring it inside the extrude in a group of the extrude and for example the rectangle going inside a group of the all of this spline are parent or child of the extrude move them aside inside move it here as you can see they are not extrude because the extrude just extrude the object at the top for example if you bring the inside at the top just inside will be extrude but if you tick hierarchical the, all of the uh, child and the hierarchy under the uh, extrude will be affect and very simple you can extrude all of them and another uh, section is uh, tap caps uh, all of these settings at the caps, I will be, I explained them in previous lesson text tool. Please refer to them to uh, 
understand how these caps work and they are very interesting and the selection all of uh, all of this selection i the, the, are these are about assigning material to uh, different parts of the caps i explain in text refer to that please okay that is extrude very easy and simple and important hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release